Oh my God, she got me so emotional. I know how that junk make you feel, man. Simone, don't get it twisted. In fact, yo, what plans would I be? Complexion is her she. Chocolate lady, shh, keep it low key. Talk with m m maybe too much G. Get the pimpin' from my daddy. Game B from my mama. Don't affiliate with those who owes don't have commas. Pillar ain't for those who chose to have drama. Got a meal to make, so I can load and blow on her. Uh, little mama is ahead of the game. I want the Xbox stash. Family, what it do? It's your girl Tamika, and I am back with another video. Shout out to my family, S and T. I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much for coming back and tuning in. Listen, we about to jump into this easy video. Uh, she's her uh surgery video, everything that she went through through her breast reduction and things like that. I know she's gonna be super emotional. I can remember these moments myself. I too, you know what I'm saying, had to go through a breast reduction, or I was just going to tip over. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely understand um, some of the things that she's probably going through at this moment so without further ado we about to slide right into this video let's go see this is gonna be one of them I'm gonna be emotional and shit, cause I know this feeling, like for real. I had to go through the same thing, but I had some big hooters, boy. I did, and I had to get a reduction too. And people just don't understand this. Anytime you go through a surgery, it's traumatic. You know what I'm saying? Cause anything can happen. You know what I mean? When you up under that anesthesia, anything can happen. So, man. You can tell she an emotional wreck. Oh, I was the same way. You know what I mean? Like I just, I just think about that night, that day. I think about the night before. I couldn't even hardly sleep. You know what I'm saying? The day of, I was a nervous wreck. I remember just always, just kind of like looking at my wife and just trying to remember everything about her, just in case I didn't wake up. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's the craziest thing that your, your brain go through. It's like I stayed up so like uh, late last night, you know, editing the videos we posted, and it was like I didn't have really time. You edited two videos. Yeah, I did two night. videos and like the thumbnail. So it was just like, all right, it's three o'clock, but right now it's only three hours from three o'clock. So it was like six something, or I got up at like six something. So sure, I'm sure tired. Yeah. yeah. So has I hit you yet, or not yet? Really? Um, not yet, really. I I feel like. It feels like I feel emotional, but my body's not, my body's like, it's not real. It hasn't caught up yet. Yeah, like, I feel like, oh, like, I'm scared, low-key, like, you know, but it hasn't, like, like, right now, like, I probably look sad. I'm just tired. Mm -hmm. So, it's just, like, I don't feel it. Well, I feel yeah. like you're being super brave because yeah. I think that the average person would be feeling it right now, yeah. you know? So and then sometimes having your girl there, you you be trying not to like be too emotional, cause that's how I was too. I, I didn't want to like be too make my wife nervous, you know what I'm saying or whatever. So it's, it's crazy, man. My I'm all getting emotional. My nerves is bad right now. So, but I just feel like you're, you know, you're definitely a brave woman and such a supportive woman. 
<laughs> it's gonna definitely pay off, you know. So we should head there. Cool. Just, yeah, like get you ready. So at least you have time to like sit there for a little bit, you know. Oh, yeah. Don't just hop right into it. Mommy, mommy, mommy got you so covered. Mommy didn't already pray. She already know it's going to be good. She already know baby girl going to be good. She ain't even stressing it. She like, all right, just call me when you get out. It's going to be good. And she going to be happy too. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the first thing I was. I woke up. And even though I was still kind of like woozy from the anesthesia and stuff, the first thing I did, I was like, oh, it's lit. Like that series of shit. I asked the doctor for two nipples. I ain't care about none of these boobs and shit. I ain't want none of that. A cup me, please. <laughs> Um, you can see her. Let's go. Let's go. Are you feeling nervous? I'm not gonna lie, yeah. Like I'm I'm nervous. I'm like I'm ner more nervous than you, but Okay, I'm not nervous. I'm not nervous. <laughs> Just a little bit, yeah. Just a little. Yeah. I already knew Natalie wasn't finna let her do this by herself. I knew she was coming. You know what I'm saying? Like, seriously. And I'm happy that Easy got her there. Because it is so much better when you just got your baby girl with you, bro. I don't know what it is, but it just makes you feel so much better. And I can just tell my dog, she a nervous wreck, but she about to be so happy. My nigga, you about to be jumping around out there, bud. Because I'm telling you, it's hard to jump when you got the boobs in your face and shit. Uh, Are y'all nervous? Y'all nervous? A <laughs> little bit. I know you're gonna be fine. It's just nerve wracking, that's all. Yeah. Man. I have never had surgery before. Except for. Yo, I know she have a million DMs in her DM, but I ain't even gonna lie. No, no, like, no cap. Like, I, I probably messaged her like four times. Like praying, like just, just, just because I just know the feeling of just like you know not having any control. Cause when you go under that anesthesia shot, you don't got no control no more. Your hands is really your life is in somebody else's hands. You know what I'm saying? So that alone is just like mind boggling when you think about it. When I was younger, my finger when I smashed it in the door. Oh, it's only till my brother had surgery. Yeah, I had surgery. Yeah, oh, dang, I didn't know. You're gonna be fine. attacks on the way to the doctor at the doctor in the doctor like that serious bro like you just you know i know you in your heart you be thinking like everything is gonna be okay but you gotta just you can't help but think about the other shit too you know what i'm saying like it's just hard 
My edges ain't in right now. I should have looked my best before I went out. I mean, went in, um, but they told me I couldn't put this, lotion on. Yeah, I deodorant. Nope, I ain't gonna do it. You gonna come out with a musty bag? Outside because I just really wanted to come out and be able to journal, which I just did. Just journaled and um, meditated and sent her the healing energy that she needs, the protective energy. I pray that the outcome will be exactly what she desires and that she is in a peaceful slumber as she gets her surgery. I was so happy when I seen my new Hooters. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I was so happy when I seen my new Hooters. First of all, because it was the first time in a while that I could see completely to the floor. You know what I'm saying? You look down on whatever I used to couldn't see past them. No cap. You know what I'm saying? So, like, for me just to be able to look at the different peripheral, I ain't know what to do with myself. I think I just broke off running. Like, when I healed and shit, just took off running. Because at first, they used to have to hit me and shit. You know what I mean? But... This is a beautiful thing. She's going to feel so much better. Because believe it or not, man, it's a, it's a problem after a while. It messes up your posture, your shoulders, your neck be hurting. You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't have to go through that. Laying down in the bed, don't be comfortable. Um, and then she'll have a speedy recovery. So, guys, drop some prayers below and send her the positive energy that she needs right now. Yes, sir. I'm just ready to see her. The anesthesia gonna have her out of it. Emotional, I was so emotional. I was so happy to see my wife. Um, they had gave her an allotted time that I was supposed to be in there for the surgery, but then it ended up going over. So she was bugging out. So like when I finally came to, I can hear the people on the, in the, on the walkie talkie saying, is she, is she out because her wife is out here freaking out? And it was just like the last thing I remember is just seeing like my wife feet. You know what I'm saying? Coming to the to the to the room that I was in. You know what I'm saying? Cause I was just in and out of it. Cause that anesthesia ain't no hoe. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. But you know, that's all it's gonna be. You're gonna be emotional because it's gonna be a change. You know what I mean? And you're a woman and sometimes you don't wanna really contort your body or whatever. So going through these moments and stuff like that can be quite triggering. Like at least it was for me anyway. It's about to happen. It's the last day. This is the last boobs. These what are the boobs? last ones. Hey, you, easy, future easy. You're looking at yourself and you're like, whoa, those boobs used to be big. They, they used to be, be big, huge. huh? Look at them now. Look at you. Look at yourself. Look, look at them now. Yeah. Look, back, look down. Yeah. Look, up. look like, damn, those are big. Now, look. Yeah. Look, look, you look right now, future you. No, present you, but this is, I'm your past. Yeah, hey, little itty bitty titty committee. Hey, girl, I'm over here, you know, I'm stuck in the past. Double D's. You know, D's over here, they no longer, them titties is gone, they gotta go, <laughs> them double D's is not gonna be on your knees anymore, they not gonna be touching your knees, can't believe it. Oh, no cap, man, my shit used to hang, I had so much loose skin, it used to be, ugh, this wasn't the way, but I feel so much better now, man, and now I be lifting weights because I gotta keep them tight. You dig what I'm saying? The only thing I don't like is that, like, it seemed like after my surgery, I got, like, extra nipple sensitivity. Like, it seemed like if a person blow on them, you could feel it. 
I don't, I don't like that. I love that that mom is there too because sometimes you just need a maternal figure too. You need all of that. You know what I'm saying? But I know her feeling that she's going through right now. Oh my God. I'm trying not to get emotional on this video because it's like when you know, you know. But she going to feel so much better, man. She's going to feel so much better. You okay, Pookie? Aww. You okay, baby? I just want to hug you. So much better, bro. Nigga, I was in the mirror flexing, shawty. Oh, God. Okay, let me stop. Long story, but guys, I am back and I'm better. It's been three weeks since my operation and I am feeling so good. You know, if you've been keeping up with me, I've been posting here and there of stuff on my Instagram story. So go follow me on Instagram if you're not. I went to like two events. I went to the Erica Badu event and then I went to, I went out because it was Chris's birthday. Uh, but you know, I'm back and I'm here to tell you guys about my experience and show you these bitties. Went from double days to itty bitty titties. Yeah. Once the swelling went down, it was like, God damn, what happened? That titties gone. So that's what's going on right now, guys. My boobs are so swollen still, okay? And I can't give you guys a cup size. I really don't know. I just know that I had double D's and we're going to do the yeah, you, you can't give a cup size at least into the first five months because they're going to fluctuate. You know what I'm saying? Like, seriously. But it's all you can already tell, man. You you got a lot, lot off of you, boy. I'm telling that shit heavy, man. Before and after. Like. Look at this. Look at this. Let's go this side. Look at this. Look at this. This is crazy. Crazy, okay? So just to sum up the process and what I went through, um, I was going to take you guys with me throughout this journey, 
but I did not expect to have so much anxiety. I didn't, I didn't know I was gonna have an anxiety attack. I didn't know that it would feel so traumatic and emotional afterwards, mm -hmm. okay? Um, I didn't expect that at all. Mm -hmm. It literally threw me for a loop and you know, my lover, my best friend, Natalie was there. Her mother was there. You know, I came home, my family is super supportive. My mother, my brother, everybody. But in that process and in that moment, I am so glad that Natalie was there because it, I couldn't even do anything by yeah. myself. I couldn't pee. I couldn't shower. I couldn't do anything by Man. myself without like her. Um, I couldn't shower for like two days and she had to help me shower. I almost passed. Shout out to the good women in our lives. I know what she mean. I know what she mean. My wife, she took off from work just to help me go through at least the first week. I think the first full week of the process, man. I don't know what I would have did without her. I had a I had a situation with mine the night that I came home, a suture, you know what I'm saying, bust. So when we woke up, it was just like blood everywhere, you know what I'm saying, from from the boobs. So I had to go back to the hospital from the re from the reheal it. It was it was crazy, but it was worth the experience. I'm not even going to lie to you. Passed out in the shower. Uh, because the temperature was too hot and my open wounds and everything like that um, I literally almost fainted like twice and she sat me down had to cool me off like it was so much that I went through that I did not know I was gonna go through mm -hmm. okay and I'm saying all this to say I just because I didn't document any of it I'm like I don't want no cameras this is my moment mm -hmm. like I'm not doing this for anybody else but me and right now I want to live in that mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. so that was my entire experience um for about two weeks and then after that I was moving and grooving. Mm -hmm. I was moving and grooving, you know what I'm saying? And it, it was tough. Um, I think it's because mentally it was traumatic and physically it was like so hard on my body. And now I have to, I can't even, I still can't even work out. And I feel I can't mm -hmm. carry certain things. Yeah. Natalie's just been there for me. That's gonna take a while, like the lifting and stuff like that. You don't wanna just, you don't wanna go too much. You know what I'm saying? You can do little leg weights and stuff like that or whatever. You could do like little stuff, but don't don't push it. Don't push it. You want it to heal properly. So therefore, when you go ahead and start and hitting the weights full throttle, because I know Stevie about to have you right. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. You just don't wanna overdo nothing. Take your time, baby girl. You're going to be good. Doing pretty much everything. You know what I'm saying? But now I'm out. If y'all seen on my story, I've been moving and grooving, okay? But I can't do too much. I already, my boobs, they've been leaking. Okay, so let me give you the back story. I went into surgery. All The last thing you guys seen was me crying. And right after that, I literally could not stop crying. I was breaking down. I was mm -hmm. shaking so bad. And they were like, um, you know, try to get her some food. And they were just like, it's okay, calming me down. So the first thing I ate was some banana bread. And that was the only thing that Natalie and her mom had at the time. And I ate it. And then my mouth swelled up, like my tonsils. Like, you know, that dangly thing back there. Um, it swelled up, swelled up and I could not, I felt I couldn't breathe out my mouth. And it was already hard for me to breathe out my nose because my face was so swollen. And it was just tough. So we rushed back to the hospital because we were like, yo, what's going on? Because like it was so swollen, like I could lift my tongue up. And then I'm like, look. And I was showing them. And they were like, it's normal. You know, usually when you eat, try to just drink like a smoothie or something, you know? And then as soon as I drank a smoothie, the swelling went down and it was fine. But right after that, I started having another anxiety attack mm -hmm. once I got the smoothie. And it was just really emotional for me. You know what I'm saying? And but I just want to let you guys know what my experience was, you know? Um, so my emotions were like so heightened for about those two weeks. But I do want to say the experience was incredible and I'm so happy with my results. I can't even, I can't wait till the swelling goes down even more. I know that I gained weight during this process because all I've been doing was, you know, being in the bed mm -hmm. and eating, you know what I'm saying? And I was literally on a journey of losing weight and the type of body that I have. Yo, I swear to God, sometimes it be seeming like me and her shit be parallel because that's how I felt too. Like for the people that have been following me, you've been knowing I've been going through a weight loss journey and then I got sick for those two weeks and I feel like I had gained like seven pounds and it had me so discouraged. So now I'm finally getting back into the swing of things, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever to where I'm finna start my routine back full throttle but it's so emotional man like ugh. it's like i'm not one of those people that can just all right you sit around and if you don't work out or whatever you lose weight i know a lot of people like that my body is the type if you don't Facts. work your ass off you're gonna gain weight on top of you eating and stuff like yeah, that so me too. i gained a lot of weight um during the three weeks not a lot but i gained some weight during the three weeks which is really annoying because when i first see my results when my 
like uh, when I finally was able to put a button up t-shirt on like I was way more slim you know and I'm gonna show you guys that footage either way I am so fucking happy I am so fucking happy the doctor was telling me that it's a, it's normal for women um to be emotional after mm -hmm. a surgery especially because we are hom hormonal mixed with the anesthesia so it was just like mm -hmm. okay that's understandable mm -hmm. but shout out to dr williams shout, shout out to 305 surgery thank you guys for making my dream come true i can't wait to show you guys my results once the swelling goes down completely mm -hmm. the scarring that i have is like around my areolas mm -hmm. and then like an anchor it goes down and then right under my breast that's mm -hmm. the scarring that i do have mm -hmm. was it painful when i was un under um no it sounds like we have the same same exact surgery because that's exactly how mine's is this the definitely is the anchor because you had the possibility to do the keyhole you know what i'm saying with your nipples and stuff like that but we did the same thing and it's so crazy because when your boobs is so big you know what i mean they have to pretty much they have to cut out your nipple you know what I'm saying? To reposition it to fit on the new boobs. You know what I'm saying? And in some cases, you might have to be like my aunt and have them tattooed because like your areola might have been too big to put on the new titties. You see what I'm saying? It's crazy, but it's, 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 it, oh man, I feel so much better. I do recall being there, but I was sleep. It felt like I was there for only 30 minutes. My surgery was three hours. You know what I'm saying? Then when I woke up, I was in pain, but it was more scary. I was yeah. traumatized, you know? If you guys have any more questions, drop them down below. I'm talking a lot. I just want to let you guys know I'm back. Me and Natalie were posting a video, so I know you guys have been waiting for Easy X Natalie to post. Um, I'm back. I feel like just rejuvenated. I feel creatively inclined. But wait! Shout out to everybody, all my family members that checked on me, text me, DM me, every single supporter that has checked on me. Thank you guys so much for really checking on me. I really appreciate all the love. I've seen all the love. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, And shout out. Look at this. Look at this car. Look at this. Get well soon, easy. Thank you guys so much. Let's read it. And it says, keep being great, easy. We love you. So this is one of the cards my supporter sent me. It says, get well soon, bitch. You already know that bounce back. About to be me. Shout out to Alexis. Uh, Snoop says, get well soon. Sincere says, get well soon. Welcome to the Itty Bitty Titty Committee. Snoop also says, smaller boobs make them fool. Yes, sir. Speedy recovery in the works. Love you, G. That's freaking amazing. Thank you guys so much. And everybody else. Um, if I forgot anything, leave it down below. My next video, I'll be addressing more stuff. I'll meet you guys on Twitter. Uh, text me if you, want, you guys don't have my number. I'm back video again. Here are the here's the difference. It's a world of a difference. Like I'm back. Love you guys. Like and subscribe. Please follow me on every social media platform. And thank you guys for keeping up with this journey. I love you guys. Thank you. I remember that same exact moment when she was coming out. Oh my god. I felt so bad for her. You know what I'm saying? It's just the emotions. You just be so overwhelmed. You know, and it's just like you gotta really think about it. There's some people that just had that same exact surgery who didn't make it out. So it's a very, very traumatic experience, no matter how you want to slice it. You know what I'm saying? But I'm happy that she had a big support system. She had a baby girl with her because it made it so much better. I was so thankful for my wife being there. So I, I totally get it. I want to know how y'all feel. Did you guys ever have to go through a breast reduction surgery or a surgery all together? You know what I'm saying? That was very traumatic for you. You know what I'm saying? That it took a little while for you to get over. You know what I'm saying? I want to know. Drop it down in the comments. Let's talk about it. Listen, if it's your first time here... I need for you to smash that subscribe button. Smash it! We're on the road to 100K and I need your help, no cap. Before you head off the video, please make sure you smash that like button. Smash that too. You dig what I'm saying? I love y'all, s and I appreciate you guys for coming back and tuning in. And until the next video, I'm going to catch y'all, dog. Peace.